today we'll be doing something quite interesting. Uh, I recently read uh, the reinforcement uh, learning book by Richard Sutton. Um, and there was this part on using Monte Carlo to predict blackjack strategy. So I thought it was pretty interesting and I thought that maybe I could implement it out myself. Uh, for those who do not know, I'm quite a supporter of Monte Carlo methods because I feel that they are simple. And then if your state space is small enough, you can just randomly iterate over all your actions mm -hmm. and then eventually come up with something that can be quite powerful. So I haven't coded it out before today's uh, stream. So we'll just see how it turns out and let's go. Mm -hmm. All right, just feel free to, you know, drop in the chat if you have any questions. Okay, so what's Blackjack? Blackjack is a game where you take two cards and the dealer takes two cards. Okay, uh, dealer will only show one face up card. Okay, um, card values will be, oops, card values will be ace is a uh, one or 11, and then uh, picture cards, or whether we can call it king, queen, jack, will be 10. Uh, then one to nine will be, yeah, the one to nine values. And then um, actions, potential actions, we just keep it simple. Okay, let's just put hit and stick. Okay, hit means you take the card. And then stick means you, you uh, just uh, end your turn. Uh, at the end of both uh, your turn and the dealer turn, um, the player with the highest total below 21 or equal to 21 wins. If you get above 21, then you bust and lose. Okay, so we, we don't give the dealer advantage here. We just give both of them like it's either you get 21 or you both get 21, both losers. Okay, so the outcomes will be 1 if you win, 0 if draw, both bust or both same value. And then uh, minus one if you lose. Okay, so we want to simulate the Monte Carlo method to to do this uh, whatever scenario that we just described over here. So first up, uh, let's define the game. Okay, uh, so maybe like that. Define inits. Okay, so when we initialize the game. Uh, we probably would need to like give a deck of cards. So there are 52 of them like that. Okay. Then what we want to do is we also want to put like, okay, so that's, that's all. Self dot dealer. Yeah. So we just do it like that. And then uh, what we have to do next is we maybe want to define something to do with let's see okay maybe we call this class blackjack yeah so maybe uh what i'm gonna do is a uh, draw cut draw for player okay okay so uh draws a cut for the player if cut is specified, then uh, remove that specific cut. Okay, so let's see a uh, Python list pop. Can I pop a uh, exact number? Can I pop the number? So like, let's see, pop removes the item at given index. But what if I want to pop the element value itself? Uh, by value yeah I guess I could use list dot remove yeah okay
Okay, so we do have a list of cards. Okay, I can sense a problem here. Okay, the problem is that we may not be able to, like, if we have ace, king, queen, or this, or this, uh, we may not be able to just tell the value of the card there. So if, let's say I really want to, actually, do I need to code the specific card? I think, I think maybe I don't have to. I think maybe I don't have to. Yeah, because if I were to code the specific card itself, that's like kind of cheating, right? I mean, like, we already know what you, so maybe we don't need to, to, to code this card. Yeah, so it draws a card for the player. Okay. So I think over here, what I want to do is I want to have a deck. Okay. If deck is none, then we do self.deck is this, else self.deck equals to deck. So this is the, the deck to initialize if we have a certain deck. And of course, we will have a certain state mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. yeah, so if we give all this here, we can initialize this. Just either that or we could do a reset later. Thinking what's the best option because if I reset, actually, it's no different from me initializing this, right? But if I want to do a reset with my dealer and my player hands, then uh, I don't know whether it will be faster if I do a define reset method. Uh. So let's just stick to this uh, initialization method for now. Yeah, I guess I can just initialize more of these classes. Oh, okay. Actually, I know. I know. I know. I can do a function called set state. Okay. Yeah, then I can use back the same class. Uh, I don't have to do all this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think this, this would work. Okay, yeah, then I can draw a card for the player. Maybe I have a reset state. Or we can just call it reset. Mm. Actually, I don't need a reset, right? Because I can just reset to this over here. Yeah. So we have a set state. And then if cut in self dot deck, oh I don't have to. What I need to do is self dot deck. Okay, I need to draw a random cut pop element randomly from list Python. Yeah, that's what I need to do. Okay, so I guess we have to use some random number generator. I think there's a mp dot random dot sample also. Let's see. Yeah, I quite like this method. So you just do a random dot ran in and then you take the length. Yeah, maybe what we can do is we can shuffle the Yeah. So we can, we don't have to do this random generation. We can just simply shuffle the the initial list. Okay, sure. Let's do it. Import random. So over here, maybe I, I will set the seat here. Okay, so um, can you see my random thing? Yeah, random seat method. Random dot seat pen. Okay, so something like this. This sets our random seed. Okay. After that, uh, what we'll do is we'll then um, yeah, basically with this random seed, we can do random dot shuffle. 
yeah. Yeah, something like this. Yes. We can just do this random.c and then random.shuffle self the deck. Okay, sounds good. So what we will do is we'll just pop the first element. Yeah, something like this, yeah. Okay, something like this. Okay, so we have this, and then yeah. Okay, let's just see how 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 this works out. Okay, DJ equals to blackjack. Okay, uh, then we just take DJ dot deck. We just see whether we have the random shuffled deck. Okay, great. So if I were to do this again, the deck should be the same. If I set my seat equals to one, the deck order would be different, like here. And I set my seat to be three, the deck order would be different as well. So we have got that settled. Okay, so I think one definition we need to take is get state. Then we just return self dot deck self dot dealer self dot player self dot c. Yeah. So after that you can then call this thing into into set state. So maybe what we can do here is like this. Yeah, so we return the state like that. So we expand out the state here. And then, yeah. Um, gets. Of the current game returns the state. Okay, good. Then of, of course we still need to do a display game. Okay, so for display game, what we want to do is we want to just print out, like print out the alert. Okay, then maybe what we'll do is. Uh, Remaining cards will be. We can make it purely text based. Uh, length of our back. Okay. So we can also print. Okay. The. So this one draws a card for the dealer. Okay. Then this one is a uh, displays the game. Alright, so we do have this. Okay, so this is uh, displaying the game. Uh, remaining cards will be this. Remaining cards. Uh, we put like dealer will be this. So dealer will be self dot dealer. Okay, actually we don't want to print out just the dealer cards. What we have to do is we actually want some kind of mapping. So like, for example, whatever the dealer has. Okay, we'll do the mapping later, but now let's just print out whatever cards the So that we can see for ourselves what they have. Okay, and then we also print a player. Okay, sounds good. So we can print out blackjack dot display game. Oops. Oops. Uh, dot reshape. No, there's no reshape for this. So. Maybe I just print. 
yeah, like that. Then it will show in one straight line like this. You can see the the game like that. So all we can do is we can like that right. Like, so if let's say the the game has something, then it will be like this. Okay. Then we can do like draw dealer. So something like this. So now what we want to do is we want to convert this representation here, uh, to the, to the card that it's supposed to represent. So let's have another definition here. So uh, convert card. So first we need to check converts the card into the desired form. Okay. So first we need to check. Okay. What is the value? of our our card here and then we convert it to one uh so basically the desired form is from like one to nine or one to ten or jack queen king ace okay and then the suit okay so if okay card is okay so how do we do this we can we can actually do it in two ways one way is I hard code all the 52 cards out in the list and then we can just convert it to that list. In fact, we can hard code all the cards here. Instead of I for I in range 52, we can do like A, King, Queen, Jack, Ben, you know that kind of thing. Yeah, we can, we can do that. Actually, would that be easier? Would that be easier? I mean, or what could be done is we can do it separately by by converting the card here okay, let's try to convert card method first okay so first so we need to convert the card to the value value equals to card modulo 13 okay so suit will be equals to card floor divided by 13 like that so and then this suit will be a heart diamond club they do from ascending order right club diamond heart spades yeah something like that and this will be index over here i don't have to integer this because floor division is an integer uh the value here okay will be basically okay zero one but there's no zero here so it'll be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay and then after that we have Jack Queen King Ace. So actually all this should be in strings like that. Like that. And then maybe what we want to do is uh, we return uh, value plus suit. Yeah, so this will convert the card. And then when we display this over here, we'll display, uh, we we'll apply this function. Can we apply a function to a list in Python? Can we do that? Map, we can do a map. Yeah, so let's try that. Map self.display, self.convert card. And then self dot filler. Let's do the map here to see whether we can do it. Okay, so uh, we kind of need to list this out. Okay, because if not, you may not be able to see. Oh yeah, look at that! Look at that! We do have the. Although not very aesthetic, we can see that we have king club, three, three hearts, and so on. Yeah. So what we want to do now is we need to calculate maybe the value of each player. Okay. Maybe like calculate player cell. Okay, so this returns the value of the player. Okay, so how, how do we do this function? And then we also need to define the similar function. Actually, um, 
do we need to do two separate functions? Yeah. Okay, so we have two functions now. One is for the player, one is for the dealer. So in order to calculate the value for my player, I take whatever that is in the player's um, cards here. Okay, and then we do have all this CDHS, right? Which actually don't uh, really affect the value unless it is uh, 12. Actually, we just need to use this thing here. So while the visual representation can do this, which I think is great because actually I don't really want to convert all this um, to print out all the time, it will waste a runtime. I think what we can do is we can keep this just for the visual display here. Okay, not very visual, of course. I mean, the most visual will be a picture of the card there. Okay, but I don't think we need this for the Monte Carlo. We can just set, settle for this. Okay, what we need to do next is we basically just need to return the total card value for the player and the total card value for the dealer. So let's think how to do this. Um, so we are given a list of numbers here from 1, 0 to 51. And then in order to return um, the value for the player, what we need to do is I just... Okay, so uh, because there's an ace over here, so maybe has ace, we just put here has ace equals to false. Okay, um, for card in player dot... Okay, so maybe what we'll do is we'll calculate because actually this is the same function so I'll just compress it. Okay, so if player okay then what we do is uh, my deck equals to self dot player. Okay, actually we can do it in one sentence but make it pythonic to self dot player if player else self dot dealer okay so then the rest can be the same okay we don't have to do two functions for each of the cards in my deck okay we can do this because we're not exactly manipulating the cards here we're just calculating the value of this so for each card in my deck what i want to do is i want to convert it to a value so let's see value equals to okay so i do need to have like maybe over here so, uh, card percent 13, okay, uh, but that's not enough to do card percent 13 because like, you see, if over here the, the index is greater than 10, so maybe what we can do is we can do an index first, index is card percent 13, modulo 13, which gives us like 0, 1, 2, 3, so you can see like this 0 part here, in fact, maybe to make things easy, we can put A as the 0 index, okay, so that uh, we will see why later yeah so if you put a as zero we can we can blanket all this field here as 10 okay for this game so index is cut percent 13 okay if index greater than uh zero one two three so it's greater than nine okay value plus equals 10 else okay okay so we need to do firstly uh, a check for whether or not or well, actually i have a very innovative idea that we can do here so basically if the value is zero sorry if index is zero as ace equals to true and then what we do is uh, value plus equals to one okay because uh, the ace is either one or eleven okay later we will decide whether is it one or eleven okay if okay index is smaller than zero okay if index is smaller than zero what will happen is uh, not not smaller else we should do an else over here. else okay uh what we do is value plus equals to index because this is zero one two the zero will be out already okay zero one two three index so we need to do min index 10 okay because if the index is like 10 and above okay like 10 11 12 13 we want to make it to 10 Okay, so at the end of the day, we just return value. So that should be how we return the value for the dealer. And let's see whether this... Okay, so... Oh, I forgot to do one thing, actually. Uh, if have ace, okay, and, all right. And value is smaller than, equals to 11. Which means we can add the ace value in. Okay, 
So this is a quick fix to it. So what I want to do is I want to actually print out the value also. Uh, Illa has this and the value of this card is what? Value will be calculate self dot calculate okay player equals to true or oh, actually this player equals to false and I'll use this method okay to calculate the value of of the deck So this is two hearts is given a value of two. Very good. Okay, so let's just uh, maybe draw a player and we this value A, draw again, value 10, value 20. Very good. Then we value 27. Okay. So yeah, that's uh that's what we need to do. So like if value 27, then at the end of the game when we compare, uh the player will be bus. Okay. So now what we need to do is we also need to compare the end result find get result okay and then uh, this will uh, returns the result of the game okay zero if draw okay one if one if uh, player wins and minus one if player loses or minus one if dealer wins i mean is, is the same yeah so what we need to do is self dot calculate value okay so actually what we can do here we can make our life easier okay if value greater than 21 okay value equals to minus one because it's bus already all right so we yeah we can do like that uh, or we can do value equals minus one because like then we can compare so self dot calculate uh player equals to false greater than self dot calculate so whoever is minus one will lose okay so if the player wins okay let's say the player has a greater this means player wins okay if player wins then uh, return one else if okay so actually i think i don't want to calculate so many times what i want to do is player score dealer score equals to self you can do like that Okay, and then basically if player score actually we can just return dealer score minus player score because if it's the same then they will yeah so we can just return this so it's, it's a negative number and then we can basically if this is negative then it will be um, is there a way to do sign numpy dot sign okay because actually we just need the sign of this yeah i guess we can just use numpy dot sign yeah okay so we import numpy here like that yes something like this and then we can see our value here value 2 okay draw player value 10 value 10 for the player value 20 pass okay because it's minus 1 now so then after that maybe you can see like dot uh is it get result what's it get result yeah we can see like this player wins okay Hey, player wins. No, 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 it should be different. Yeah, it should be the other way around. Uh, 
Okay, so uh, what we have here is like this. We do have a way to calculate. Okay, so now let's uh, just see. Okay, so we, we do have all these functions done already. Let's uh, do a game loop. So uh, we can just put like that. Uh, blackjack equals to C, this one. Well, uh, Okay, so we start with the player action first. Okay, so player takes action first. Wow, got, got gets, got calculate. Until uh, he uh, sticks, until player sticks or bust okay, because you bust you straight away lose the game already you don't have to continue taking your action so while this is not minus one okay what we do is a uh, bj dot draw player actually in fact the draw right this one we can also use the same technique as earlier we do play equals to true or delay equals to true not sure whether i want to do that mm. Okay, now we just stick to this first. Okay, we draw player. I mean, I also can do calculate player, calculate dealer also over here, yeah, rather than pass in this. But because this function is like, it's repetitive. Yeah, I thought it would be nicer to just do in 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 this one loop with a, a variable tuning it. So we have this uh blackjack dot calculate player equals to true, equal not equals to minus one. Okay. Okay, so. We basically need the player to take action. So what we need to do is choose action. We give the blackjack, we give the player and the dot dealer and okay, so we do need to have a certain player here. So like define player dealer player so yeah we need to give the dealer and the player states okay and let the player then decide whether or not to draw or not okay okay so we give it like maybe like draw or draw or Let's see, uh, draw. Either give it draw or uh, fold. Uh, it's hit or stick, right? Yeah, hit or stick. Yeah, so that's the game loop. So we, we either hit or stick. Okay, and then after that, uh, based on this, so maybe it's action equals to this. is hit then we do the draw okay else break yeah, so let's do it so the dealer also will have actually a yeah so in Monte Carlo we will just treat uh the dealer and the player's actions as uh, totally random, okay? Yeah, unless, of course, like, the dealer, the dealer don't have to be totally random. The, to the dealer can be, because the dealer will just keep playing to win the player, right? So the dealer's action, so in Monte Carlo, player's action is random. Okay, uh, but, for but for dealer, uh, dealer, will keep drawing un until he busts or wins player yeah so we have a very aggressive dealer here the dealer will just keep drawing wins or draws player i mean this is the, this is the best case outcome for the dealer actually so in fact actually we might want to just pass in the environment here
yeah, for the dealer, let's just give it the environment because like you want to calculate at the player, let's just give it the environment as well. Yeah. If uh, get results, if environment dot get result, okay, it looks like I have to stop here. Okay, because I have some uh, guests coming, so I think I'll continue this on another stream. But yeah, it will be cool. So we basically need to do the finish up the game loop. Okay, and then after that, I can apply Monte Carlo on this to see how this works. Okay, so we'll continue this another time. Okay, thanks for watching and bye.